All right, so you see, after I've given this the good yank fill up like this, you see how I have to take my fingernails right now to move it and to line it up where I want it because I pulled it that tight. And if you look at where my wires are, they're coming out, yep. so they just they don't look like they're twisting yep. in the center. Yep. All right, here. Now you finish it. That's fine. It's good. Now, now twist and pull. Twist, pull, twist, pull, and get that long twist. Do you see how just a little different than mine, but you're mm -hmm. definitely much better than when you started. Okay, good. It's all right with you. I just want to give it a good check. Yeah. See, I, I, I can maybe get one more half twist in there. All right, good. All right. Do this part of it. So you're going to squeeze, turn, release, turn, squeeze, release, turn. I'm holding well over. Is that okay? That's fine. Yeah. And we're doing it on the flat part of the tool. Right. I mean, the, flat the part of the... The part, not the grippy part. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll chew up your yep. cane. Good. Now try below. And that should be closing up your... your you know those cracks that are making you so nervous? Mm -hmm. Remove your thing and see, is it closing them up? It is, right? Yeah. Fourth, now do it beneath the third wire, Philip. I don't know. Here. Hello. 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 Not on the wire though, okay? Basically, like once or twice around, kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a Let's feel. Let's see how it looks. And then what happens is, you should have this wire should be loose. Oh, that's right. Let's take a look. Bottom wire is the only wire that you should recheck. Right. Yeah. Sometimes the second wire. So there's just. So just a little smoother. Yes. Okay. All right. Now I'm even going to open this second wire up just a tick, first wire up just a tick, because I just like a little bit more arch. I can always close the arch later on. Right. Can I see your knife? We're going to use the sharp knife yeah. and uh, see how this goes. See how this goes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Big difference, you can feel oh, it. Yeah, mine needs to be sharpened. Okay. But you get used to it, you love it, and then sure. you just don't. The okay. tricky part comes, what I'm about to do now, this is where you can really take it, because yours is so sharp. You get right underneath, and I'm basically, man, the knife is just cutting it like butter. I usually like to make it just a little duller than this. 
But it's okay. Can you score both sides? Absolutely. Both what you do to one side of a reed, you always do to the other. Now, you see where I've got this nick right here? Mm -hmm. That's because your knife is so sharp. Uh, this is where I'm going to use my other one that I just love. I don't want to have to deal with this when I'm scraping the tip. This is where you make mistakes. People get lazy at this point and they don't get rid of their nicks. They forget about it. Beautiful. And the nick causes the reed to play bad? No, it just, when I go to scrape it, then I'm going to pull a whole chunk of wood off. And that's when I curse and swear and smash it into the wall. Okay. That's, that's my cursing and swearing stage. That makes me mad when I do something stupid like that. Seems like you're holding the knife steady and you're moving yeah, your left I am, hand I am doing a little that. bit. I bring it in a little bit, but I'm being careful because I don't, it's yep. too easy to do this. Sure. If I slide it with my left hand, yep. it makes my life just a little bit easier. And these are all tricks, Philip, you're going to figure out as you wreck them. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm not just taking the corner and just going in like that because I don't want to make that divot, right? And I'm not focusing on it a lot either because, again, I just don't want to make a divot in there. See how that looks then? Yeah. Beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, dude. All right. This is your knife. This is your mandrel. This is my knife, my Rima, my mandrel. So when we get to this point, they are just on the drying rack. That's right. There you go, Philip. You have $60 right there.